to this week's tip of the week, we'll be, we will be reviewing and navigating SAP Business One tables. Uh, a lot of times users run into a challenge when they are trying to run the query generator or use the um, SQL Management Studio and they aren't able to find tables uh, within SAP. And this can be very time consuming uh, when you're trying to search for them. Uh, there is a website where you can search for the SAP tables, which I will take you to. Um, but this allows you to use a different selection criteria to find the specific table that you are looking for. And it does provide some additional data. So I will show you the website. Um, this is where uh, the website will take you to. As you can see, there are quite a few tables up here. There are over 2,000 tables. So this can be uh, take quite a while to go through. So you can search by schema. Um, it only goes up to SAP Business One 9.3, um, but you are able to search based on the module. So let's say you're looking for a sales order, you would go to marketing documents. If you did know the name, you could type it in here um, along with a specific column. Otherwise, it will just take you to the tables based on that module. Here again, there are quite a few tables within the marketing documents. Um, I typically will do control F and let them looking for a sales order. I will just type that in and you should be able to find it. So as you can see, um, the sales order table is ORDR and it'll tell you how many different columns are in there um, and just some different information. Close out of that. <laughs> so this will bring you to the sales order uh, table where you can see all the columns. So as I said, there were 424 columns and 10 indexes. But if you're looking for this specific field like doc entry or doc num, uh, it will give you the description as well as some different information that you'll need in the SQL Management Studio um, and as well as the length. But you can just kind of scroll through here and it gives you various information based on that table. The benefit of this um, website is that it ultimately just saves the user time when you are running a, writing a query and you aren't uh, very familiar with a specific table. And it kind of consolidates all the tables so that they are in one space.